Hey Will. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Will. Welcome. I thought you were not going to connect to the class. Ah, uh, no. Uh, okay, I was. I, I was eat. I was eating. Ah, uh, okay. So you you were having your your dinner. Mm, I was eating. people yeah we are in the class only you and me but we have to start because the time advances okay. all right okay no problem william pretty good that you're connected how was how was your day was it normal uh, good i uh, am no, uh, very busy my day oh. very busy and when I arrive at my house, I stay. Okay, I stay sleep. Uh maybe you you rest a little bit. Mm. You rest. I rest. That a is a bit. verb. Mm. Yes. The verb is rest. Rest. Yes. Rest. A little bit. Or yes. you can say uh take. Take a, no, a not a nap, right? You don't sleep. Mm, take a rest. Ah, take a maybe nap. take a rest. Yes. Take mm. a rest. Yes. Okay. Okay. I see. And take a rest. Oh. Okay. Pretty good. That's it. Ah, my day was busy. 
was busy and terrible. Uh, yes, so, I was coming home and there was a car, a car crash on the Troncal del Norte, imagine. Mm. Yes, there terrible. was. Terrible. Yeah, a car crash, car crash. imagine. <laughs> That happens, and it's difficult. The traffic was heavy, heavy, heavy. But, but anyways, we are in class already. That happened early. Ah, uh, Carlos, hello, Carlos, welcome. What's up, Carlos? How do you do? Hi, good evening. Hi, mister, good evening. Uh, welcome to the penultimate class, guys. Today is class number 15. We are like this to finish the course. Tomorrow, we are done. We complete the course. And today, we are going to check class number 15. Let's see. I have it open already. Class number 15. Okay, remember uh, the indications, you know, the indications. Okay, thank you for participating in the class. Uh, and the camera, you, you didn't have a camera, the complete course. Didn't you have any working camera, guys? Oh, okay. Yes, I have, I have camera because I don't, I don't use. <laughs> you don't like using it. Why not? <laughs> Why is that? Are you ashamed of using the camera? Are you uh, uh -huh, ashamed? ¿Le da pena? No? no? Um, a little. <laughs> a little bit. Ah, I used to be like that. Solía ser así yo. But now... Not anymore. So I am using the camera. Even in my university classes, I use the camera. So a camera is not bad. Okay. Anyways, uh, doubts or questions, you can make them during the class. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. We are going to finish this topic about the present perfect. I mean, about grammar, right? Present perfect finishes tonight. But we are going to check the contrast between present perfect, present perfect. Or, or simple past. Or simple past, correct. We have a contrast. When you, when you speak, for example, about an experience, then you can mention simple past to be specific. A specific in what? Uh, William, for example, or Carlos, uh, what can be a specific with when talking about the simple past? What can be a specific for you about simple past? Specific for simple past. Mm -hmm. When we speak, for example, last night at 7 p.m., I was in class. What is the specific part in that sentence? Seven. Ah, the time. Yes, the time. correct. 7 p.m. is pretty specific. All right. What else is a specific? When I said last night. Last How night. many last nights can we have? Quantas last night? Quantas? Or cuantos anoche? How many? One. There's only one, correct. When I say last night is one yesterday night. at night. Uh -huh. It's punctual, specific. Okay. Yes? Punctual, okay. Uh -huh. For example, uh, when, was, uh, when was your birthday, William? When was it? When was your birthday? My birthday is... Um, on December, on December 23rd. Uh, oh, really? Pretty close to Christmas. I didn't know. 
Oh, okay. All right. That's good. But just a detail. The question was in simple past. William, when was your birthday? When was it? Last year. Last year. Uh huh. When when was your birthday? Last year. The last year, and I was. I was in my birthday. ¿Cuál fue mi edad para que me dijo? Last year you started yeah. well. Comenzó bien. Last yeah. year. Then you said, my Once. birthday, okay. what is the verb? When? Uh, in the question, listen. When was your birthday? Mm. Where? Was. Where or was? Uh, last year, my birthday was. Correct, was. Remember that word is for plural, for plural. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it was. Uh -huh. Complete the sentence, please. Um, on December oh, 20, uh -huh. on December 23. 23rd. 23rd. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we use ordinal numbers ordinal. when talking about calendar. Yes? Ordinal. Ordinal numbers. They come from order. Vienen de orden. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Check. What? Simple past. What is the specific part? The on December. The month, correct. That is a specific, only one December during the year. And next? 23rd. The 23rd. That is only one day in December that is 23rd. We don't have two, we don't have three. So that is a specific when you talk in simple past. All right? Yes? Yes. Carlos, and your birthday... When was it? If you can answer. When was your birthday? Or if not, you can use the chat. Remember. Okay. William, the sentence, please. I haven't I haven't seen my mother since last week. Since. Uh, since. Since. Since last week. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I haven't seen my sister. That is my example. I haven't seen my sister since, since, let's see, I don't remember exactly, since last year, two weeks ago, <laughs> I'm sorry, last year, I don't know, no, it's too, it's too <laughs> far, too far, no, I haven't seen my sister since, uh, since, uh, since the last week, okay, mm -hmm. all right, pretty good, check, what is, what is the word? Since. Since. What is the meaning of since? Desde. Ah, since it is a starting point, a starting point that mm -hmm. goes, that goes to the present. Let's see. We are going to study that because that is part of the present perfect topic. Okay. Let's check. William, the sentence, please. I stayed with my, I stayed with my mother. For a six hour, let's quit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Present perfect or simple past? The sentence. Simple past. Yeah, it's clear, right? Because it's of state. the verb? It's state. state. It's correct. What is the specific part? The specific period of time that you use? For, for six hour. Uh, ah, four. Check. What is the difference between since, since. and four? What is the difference? It's since, it is, since is more uh, specific. Um, okay, it would be like this. Think that since it is uh, for a starting point, a starting point from the beginning, but no end. All right? No, no end. Not no end. end. In this mm -hmm. moment, uh huh. Since, since since last week, you are mentioning the last week, For not the previous that. week, all right? Yeah. Uh-huh, since. So you begin saying since, that is a starting point. To the next, to the next part. 
in the sentence. And for four is specific, as you said. This uh, one, yes. Four is specific. Four is pretty specific. Uh, How many hours? Six. Only six? No okay. six hours in one minute. No. Mm -hmm. Complete the Complete six hours. Six hours. And that's it. Okay? Okay. Four specific periods of time, but since from a starting point. Since is for a specific moment. Since uh, can be. Uh -huh. You can say it that way. Since mm. last last week is last week. You started in that precise period of time. You started there. I comment so right mm -hmm. from last week. Okay. Uh questions on, on that part? The difference between since and for at the mm. beginning. It might be uh since for when do I use it? But no problem. With exercises, we check. Okay, okay, next, next part. Uh, in this link, we have a practice. Let's check it out. Be Let's ready, see. guys. Let's see. Only Carlos is in online in William. Okay, no problem. If you can participate, that would be great. Be ready to answer. This. Okay, William, can you read it in complete? With one of the four options that you have. Ah, oh, Martian. Has. Martian has. Okay, read the complement so you can have an idea about. Martian heard 20 years ago. Okay. In your opinion, what is the correct option? Uh, literal. Okay, check. Check the sentence. Okay, I will... Music or no music, William? No music. No music, okay. You cannot concentrate, right? No chance. Without music, okay. Check. You have to think about is the sentence in present perfect or it seems to be in simple past. Has visited. Has visited. Okay. I'm going to give you a clue. When you read this type of sentences, you have to check if the sentence has a time expression. What is a time expression in this sentence? Time years expression. Years. Oh. years ago. Yeah, correct. Years ago. You are talking about the past. Simple past. Mm -hmm. All right. Time expressions in the simple past belong, pertenecen, belong. They were belong. They belong. belong. Pertenecen a qué? They belong to the Simple, simple past. Simple past. Uh -huh. Time expressions, but in simple past. They belong to the simple past, not to the present perfect. Simple past. Knowing that, sabiendo eso, example, Be what here. is the correct option? Uh -huh. Four. Ah, number four, visited. Number four. Okay, visited. let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see. Correct. Okay. See? Visited 20 years ago. Simple past. Pretty good. Next. Mm. Next. Have you sent the email yet? Ah, pretty good. How did you get to that answer pretty quick? How did you get there? Mm. Why? What did you see first? To say, have you sent? Have you, have you, have you sent 
Uh, okay, uh, but you said number yeah, one, right? One, see, number, number one. one. Okay, but what was what was the point that you saw in the sentence for you to say this is the answer? Because he is the present perfect. Ah, okay, but check. Simple. Ah, the word yet. Okay. I have seen the word yet somewhere. Ah, yet belongs to the present perfect most of the times. Muchas de las veces, yes. Okay, so is correct. Have you sent the email? Okay, in this one. Last night, the Miami hit. 120 points. I was talking about uh, about a basketball match. He's talking That's about it. Number two. Number two. All right. What's his scoring? Are you sure, Carlos? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Mm, también la número tres has scored. Podría ser. Ah, okay. Guys, check the sentence. Check the sentence and, uh -huh. and see if the sentence has a simple past time expression. If mm, it has or... it, y la tiene, it means, significa que? Mm -hmm. Significa que. Ajá. Uh -huh. Time expressions belong to the simple past or simple present. Uh -huh. Simple past or simple present, that depends. So maybe it's the, the auction four. That's night four. in Miami Heat, score. See, score. I scored. Okay, what is the time expression in the sentence? Last night. Last night. And what is last night? Future, present, oh, or no. past? Past. Is past? Uh -huh, past? Correct. So the answer is past. Cool. Uh -huh. It must past. be past. Debe ser past. Right? It cannot be wrong. No puede estar mal. Simple, cool. simple past. What about this one? You ever to this type work? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Bueno, podría ser it to no, have, 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 the, you, have you ever come to, to this network? Ah, correct. We have two possible options. Option yes. number one is do you mm -hmm. ever go? Because that's possible. We can make mm -hmm. that question in the simple present. But it seems that is answer letter B, right? Yeah. Have you? If you Have are talking you about experiences, this is the correct one. Yes? Okay. Experience in this one is for frequency. Do you remember frequency adverbs from the class? Frequency adverbs. Uh -huh. Remember the frequency adverbs? Yeah, always, never. Always, correct. Uh -huh. Never, uh, often. Almost never. Almost Sometimes. never. Correct. Sometimes. So it's Hardly correct. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. All right. Seldom, readily. We have many. So it's possible to make the question do you ever go? But that means frequency. But this one is about experience. So what do you say? Frequency or experience? What is the current one? Mm, experience. Experience. Ah, okay. Let's check it out. All right. It is referring to experience, not frequency. Nice. Okay. This one, this one, please, guys. Letter D. Complete it, please. Complete. You can read it. 
here since 2008. My My, my family, family lived here since, here since 2008. Has lived. Has lived. lived or lived. Has lived. No, lived. Lived. Later. Later. See. 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 Has lived. My family uh, has lived here okay. since. Okay, let's check it out. Has lived. Yes. Correct. Ah, very good, guys. That, that is correct. See. Mm -hmm. Greece, the country, Greece. Read the complement so you can have a better idea about the missing part. Tourist Olympic Games in 2004. 2004. Mm -hmm. Greece have hosted. The Olympic Games in 2004. Ah, you mean C, letter C. Yeah. Have hosted. Uh, do you agree, William, that this is the correct answer? Uh, yes. I'll yes. Agree. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, ah, no. What happened in 2004? 2004 have passed. Has passed. Ya pasó. Yes or no? 2004? Yes, yes. It's in the past. It won't come back. No va a regresar. It's in the past. Okay. What about this one? I was... I, I was walking home when the rain... Hmm, could be... Simple pass started. Ah, okay. I was walking home. This is the past progressive with ing. Mm -hmm. I was walking home. That is the first sentence. What is the consequence of the first sentence? The consequence when is the, when, when the rain the started. It started. 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 Ah, that is the consequence. Yes, it is correct. It's pretty good. Simple path. Yes. Eight. This. This is the first time I read I read trip. Uh, I have tried. Fried. Mm. Fried trip. What is the trip. meaning? Ah, uh, cocktails. Do you do you like cocktails in in the Tunco Beach? Uh -huh. Fish, mm. cocktail, shrimp, shrimp. cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. Ah, uh, uh, shrimp. Cocktails. What is shrimp? Uh huh. Shrimp. Shrimp. Check. Shrimp. shrimp. That's a shrimp. Those. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, this, this is, is the first time, time I I was trying. I was trying fried stream. Can you translate that? Can you translate it with what? La primera vez. No, uh, no, 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 puede ser. Correct. It cannot be. It cannot be. La primera, I have tried. Ah, I have tried. What are you talking about? Are you talking about frequency or are you talking about experience in the past? Mm, this is experience. It looks like, right? It looks like experience. Pretty good. Okay, let's check it out. It is correct. You're talking about experience. This is the first time I have tried stream. Next. Leonidas, the king of the Spartans. Ah, this is about the movie. Uh, Leonidas, you know, the actor or the um, character in the movie. Uh, the 300, the 300 ones, the movie. Uh -huh, the 300, no? 300 movie. 
movie. This movie. Ah, sí. This is ah, or he is Leonidas. Entonces, Leonidas. Yes. Yes. Sí. Ah, correct. Pretty good. Why? Is he is still alive or he's dead? He's dead. He's dead. dead. Correct. He's dead. Simple pass. Pretty good. He's dead. Okay. Was. Correct. And he won't be anymore. Take him. This one. I. I. This is cool for five years. Hmm. I... Okay. Period. Periods of time Period using of time. for. Check. There is for. Mm -hmm. In the previous one was since. But this one. For. Is for. For a specific period of period of time, mm, could be I was I was attending this school for five years. Translate that, please. Traduzcala con esta. Okay, I have a problem. What is the meaning? Attend. Ah, attend is to be present. Attend a meeting. Um, Attend a concert, attend, uh, I don't know, many things. Uh -huh. So it means to be to be present in the place. Attend. Uh -huh. Attend. Entonces, I was attending. Yo estaba atendiendo esta escuela no. por cinco años. I, uh, I, no. Maybe Little I school for five years. I have attend. Carlos? Huh? Your option? Little, little A. I have attended this school for five years. Jonathan, hello. What is the option? Jonathan, uh, the uh, correct letter, option. Uh, letter B. I attend this school for five the years. B. Simple past. Yes. Ah, are you sure? Are you sure? Since four, check present perfect or simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Okay, translate it with simple past. Traduzcala con simple past. Where is Yo, it? Yo atendí. Yo asistí a esta escuela por cinco años. Ah, but there is no simple past in the options. No, I simple past in the options. Was attending. Was attending. Yo estaba mm. atendiendo esta escuela. Oh. O estaba yendo no, a esta escuela. No. Little A. Little Letter A. a. Letter a. I have attended. Ah, I have attended. This is school for five years. I have attended this that has more time. sense. Esta sí tiene more sense. Atendido. Or I am attending. Yo estoy atendiendo esta escuela. I am. Asistiendo. It's difficult. It's difficult. Uh -huh. So, no sense. Asistiendo. No sense. No, right? So, the correct option is letter A. That is the last. Correct. Check. So, you have to, you have to read carefully. To find the answer. Uh, do we have any last one? Ah, 11. We have more. Okay. The last one because we need to check something else. I. I just my dinosaur report. My dinosaur report. Hmm. I am finished. No, I have. I have little a. I have finished my dinosaur report. I have just finished. I have just finished. Finish. Finish. My dinosaur, dinosaur report. Dinosaur report. Okay, let's check it out. Hey, correct, correct, correct. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do it. No problem. 
I, I any good movies lately? Mm, Check. Right. Time expression. What is the time expression? Lately. Simple past or simple present? Lately. Mm, simple past. No. Lately? What is lately? Lately is como tarde o muy tarde. Late is, is that. Late, yes. Mm -hmm. But lately. Lately, lately entonces... últimamente. Let's see. Mm. Ah, ultimamente. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Finally, or you can check. Late. Lately. Oh, okay. The same. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, I haven't seen. I haven't seen any good movies. Any lately. good movies lately. Ah, uh, all right. Lately is like recently, but in the past. All right. Recently mm -hmm. in the past, but you're not talking about. Uh, in this one, you're talking about frequency, but the purpose, the main purpose is the experience. You haven't seen any movie in the recent days. So that is the correct answer. Pretty good. Okay, the last one, 13 of 13, the last one. Mm. How long they basketball? Mm. How long? How long did they play mm. basketball? Ah, uh, how long? How when long? do you use how long in simple past, in the future, or simple present? Simple present. In the past. In the past and in simple present. In both. Mm -hmm. Yes. In both. Entonces. Mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. How long? How long did you play? Did they play? Did they play basketball? Okay, let's check it out. Oh, oh. it's present. Uh, yes, uh, it was. Perfect. It was half. How long? It was kind of tricky. This one. It was kind of tricky, but it's present perfect. No mm -hmm. problem. Okay, but in the majority of them, you selected the correct answer. Pretty good. Okay. See you, Leonidas, no more. Okay, guys, let's continue checking about scenes and four. Uh, help me out, please, uh, Jonathan, with this part. For uh, scene four and scene six, uh, we often use four oh, and scenes. Excuse one. me. We often. Talking about time. What is we? Okay. Four. Uh, four plus period. A period is a duration of time. Five minutes, two weeks, six years. Four means. Uh, four means. From the beginning of the period of the to the end of the period. Ah, okay, very good. Check for a starting point, ending point, a specific period of time. Yes. What about since Carlos William? Since. We often use for and since when talking about time. About time. Okay. What is the explanation for since? Since plus point. A point is a precise moment in time. Nine o'clock, first January, Monday, uh, first January, Monday. Since means from a point in the past until now oh okay this is pretty similar but the difference is that since it is from my starting point in the past you can go by in the past all right 
until this this point that you are in this moment let's check we have this table that it will help you identifying the correct uh the correct use for for or since william for for, for a period from start to end from a start to an end examples that you can use for for 20 minutes okay what is the starting point what is the starting point in 20 minutes starting point mm. the starting el, del comienzo cuál es el punto de inicio cuando digo 20 minutes one, one minute in the minute one what is the ending point 20 minutes 20 in the minute 20 simple correct mm -hmm. next for three years three days three days what is the starting point in this one uh, one month day one the one day, day one the first month uh the first okay day. First day. day we are in days okay and the ending day is three Depends in the three. day number three simple okay that is the period a specific mm -hmm. next for six months for six months for for four years uh -huh. for two centuries for a long time for ever ah uh, okay but be careful guys for a long These time two last ones they mm -hmm. are kind of continued right mm -hmm. for a for long time. time it's not a specific how much for time uh -huh. mm -hmm. but if you're going to use uh for example question how long how long have you been working uh, today how long i was working for... how long how long have you been working today mm. You have the option. You have the option to be a specific or no specific. If you want to be a specific, mention the period of time. If you don't want to be a specific, use 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 for for a long time. Yes. Okay. If you don't want to be a specific, because people always ask. Si no quiere ser específico, how long have you been married, for example? That's indiscreet. Kind of indiscreet, right? Algo indiscreta la pregunta, yes or no? Some people don't ask, don't answer. Algunos no contestan. And they say, ¿qué dicen? Cuando les preguntan, how long have you been married? How long have you been Married, what do they answer? ¿Qué contestan? People who don't want to answer. Los que no quieren contestar, they say, example, I have been married. Next, the expression. For a long time. Correct. Because they don't want to be a specific. That is the reason. <laughs> no specific. No specific, correct. Mm -hmm. For a long time. They answer that. Eso contesta. If you want to be a specific, si no le importa, if you don't mind, answer that, William. What would you answer? If you, if you don't mind the question. How long have you been married, guys? A specific, be a specific in your answer. Yes, use the same, use the same. There is no other answer. I, uh -huh. I have it. I have, I have it. 
Mm, I have been married. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, be specific. For, for example, for, for a specific um, period of time. Six years. <laughs> a lot of years. Sorry, example, example. Ah, example. <laughs> ah, all right. Okay, six years is an eternity sometimes. Okay, check what is the difference? A specific or using for uh -huh. a specific or no specific or no specific. That is the difference. Clear on that? Claro? For the moment. <laughs> for the moment. Ah, okay. For the moment is not a specific. It can last more. Se puede alargar. Okay, for a long time or forever. I mm, people forever. or couples they say I will love you. Forever. <laughs> but that is not specific. Yes, mm -hmm. that's too general, in my opinion. Pero otro forever que no va junto. Y este está separado. Yeah, Pero... correct. Uh -huh. Forever. That's right. Okay. Oh. So re just remember, mm -hmm. use for when you want to talk about a specific period of time. The other part, since no, a point, since a point from then to now, from then from from a specific point in the past. Okay, a specific point in the past. Examples. Since 9 a.m. Ah, since 9 a.m. Do mm -hmm. you do you think that is important? The time before 8 a.m. or is important to mention specifically 9 a.m. to the future? Mm, it's, it's important. But what is important? 8, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. since you are mentioning since 9 a.m. Since 9. We don't care about the previous time. Yes. We care. Nos importa. The time since 9. Since 9 a.m. to the future, let's say. All right. Uh -huh. All right. We don't care about 7. We don't care about 8, about 6. We mm. care nine. about... Since, since 9 a.m. To the, to the future, all right? The past, the hours, the previous hours. No importance. Yeah, correct. They don't care. <laughs> From 9 a.m., yes. The same here. Since? Since Monday. Do you care about Sunday? No. It's right, not important. not important. Yeah, it's not important. Uh -huh. If it was important, si fuera importante, you have said, hubiera dicho. Since? For three. Since? Since Sunday. Sunday. Correct. Since Sunday. Sunday. Correct. Since last Sunday. Okay. Since? Since January. Did you, did you care uh, December? No. The same, right? No, we don't care. Since? Since 1997. 97. Correct. Since? Mm. 1500. Since 1500. 1500. 1500. Since? Since I left school. I left school. Ah, okay. These ones. Okay, mm. 9 a.m. is time. Monday uh, is time because during the week. January, a year, a specific time. Check, 1997, a specific time, a specific time. But this one is not time. This one is like an experience. Since? Since I left, yes, I left the school. Correct. And this one is talking about experience. What about this one? Since, since the, beginning the beginning of, of time. time. 
since the beginning of time, there was the Big Bang, for example. Before the Big Bang? Before the Big Bang. Before no, the Big no. Bang, what, what, what was it? ¿Qué era? Before the Big Bang? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> correct, correct. We don't, we don't care. Nothing, emptiness. Nothing, emptiness, uh -huh. vacío. Empty, emptiness. Plus. Yes, vacío. So we don't care about the previous time when you use since because you are mentioning a, a starting point. Un punto de? Partida. Uh, correct. To the, to the future, al futuro, mm -hmm. let's say. Digamos. Okay. The past, you don't care about the previous, the previous time before nine, the previous day before Monday, before January, no. Okay. In which tenses can you use for? Para qué tiempos? All tenses. All, All tenses. It says simple mm -hmm. present, simple past, present perfect, past perfect, past progressive, I was working for five hours until I decide to take a relax. I was working. Estaba trabajando. See? All tenses. But since perfect tenses is only for perfect mm. tenses. How do you say? Como dice? Um, let's see. An example. Mm, he estado trabajando desde los 17 años. In English. I've been, I've been working. Uh -huh. I've been and working since, since seven, 17 years. years old. Uh, since... Seven years old. Ah, seven. Ah, uh, seven. Ah, what was <laughs> what was the year? I don't remember. Seventeen. I said right. Uh, years okay, old. seventeen. Okay, similar. I've been working. I've been since working. Since I was seventeen years old. Years or old. I've been working. Since I was a child. Sorry. What is the uh, correct option of those three? Mm. What is the tense? What is the tense? The grammatical tense. Perfect. Uh, perfect present. Perfect. Progressive, because you have ah, a... Progressive. Ajá. He estado trabajando. <laughs> so you can continue working. Puede continuar trabajando, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ajá. Yes, you can continue working, yes. Okay. I've been working. Working. Yes. Okay, present progressive. There it is, ahí está. But the question is, what is the correct, correct option? What is the correct mm -hmm. tense for you? Okay. Word is giving you the the second and third one. Ah, uh, the second one. I've been working since I was the second one and, and maybe third the third one time too. Correct. This is correct. Correct sentence. In number three, correct. In number one, not correct. Yes, it's correct. It is missing the, the main verb. Ah, it's, it's missing something. And the subject. Uh -huh, correct. It would be this, this way. Said so yes. But what is telling you? Grammar. Some words are similar, but are used differently. Four, you have four. Mm -hmm. Ah, so in this one, 
you cannot use since. Better use, mejor use. For. 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 A specific period of time, yes or no? A specific? Yeah, but uh, you uh, oh, correct. Ah, you, we don't we don't need it all, right? No necesitamos. Yeah. Need it. Correct. You were right. Okay. So that is the difference. When using for a specific period of time, and since a starting point. What was your starting point? ¿Cuál fue su punto de inicio? When you started working, when you started working, from the yeah, 17 yeah. years old. 17 years old. Correct. That was your starting point. And you can continue working, 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 work. Same here. Lo mismo aquí. Your starting point was when you were uh, a, child. a child. A child. Yeah, because you couldn't work being a baby. No podía trabajar siendo un baby, right? <laughs> okay, maybe a child, yes. A child, in the context, yes. Okay, that is the difference. Guys, uh, let's see. What else? ¿Qué más? You have examples. Check. Examples. There they are. We cannot check them. Ah, we can, we can check a couple of them. Example one. They study for two hours every day. What is uh what is the tense? The grammatical tense in number one. Present, simple present. Simple present, correct. They study. Simple present. Number two. They are studying for three hours today. Ah, okay. Present Tense. continuous. Present continuous, ING, correct. Next. He has lived in Bangkok for a long time. A specific or no specific? No specific. No specific. The grammatical tense? Mm, simple present. Simple present. <gasps> Oh, no. present perfect. No, see, present perfect. <laughs> ah, correct, yes. The auxiliary, check. He has yeah. lived. Okay, yeah. this one. He, he has, has been living in Paris for three months. A specific or non specific? A specific. A specific. Tense. In present perfect. Present perfect. But with continue. a continue is continue progressive yes progressive continuous okay it's the same okay pretty good what about since examples with since number one since is normally oh, number one uh -huh. he has been here since 9 a.m. Okay, many women say, algunas mujeres o chicas dicen, ah, esto es, he estado esperando un novio desde, ¿qué? Desde los 20, dicen. <laughs> In English. Uh -huh. I, I've been, I. In your case, uh, I guess, right? I have, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting, waiting for a I've been waiting girlfriend. for a girl like you. There is a song with this title. <laughs> it's pretty good. For a girl like you. Okay, this is one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But talking about time. For. 20. Years. Yes. Okay. Check. Present progressive. Pre uh, present perfect. Progressive. Using for, for a specific period of time. Okay, guys, continue checking the examples with for and since. And you have this practice with the same topic. And that's it. Practice about that. 
Okay, guys, uh, I appreciate your 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 assistance, your participation in the class. Tomorrow we finish. Be present. All right. Tomorrow is the final class, guys. Okay, teacher. Great seeing seeing you guys. Have a good night. Have a good and night. Thank good you. Good tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.